more like their normal state and what we're going to see going forward. I mentioned Keith's contributions to the, the wooden benches earlier. Um, Rick and Keith were also instrumental in preparing our new project room. That was formerly the friend's office and sorting room on the lower level. Um, the friends were gracious enough to um, take advantage of some additional space in the compact shelving outside of Books Down Under um, and were able to offer that room back to the library so we could turn that into our third study room on the lower level. So uh, Rick and Keith um, gave that room a fresh coat of paint, got some new furnishings in there. We got a whiteboard up and it is already a popular destination um, for the public. So we're thrilled about that. Um, I want to mention that next week is also ILA. Um, I will be attending. I'm, I'm doing a, a panel presentation, as well as uh, Jennifer Bartell, our ex Creative Experiences Coordinator. She's doing a presentation about our Book Bike program. Um, that's been getting a lot of attention, obviously. Um, so we're thrilled to have her uh, and honored that she's um, representing us there. And um, there's a lot of HR-related news. There's a lot of new legislation that's going to be affecting um, local policy. So we'll be reviewing our employee handbook and coming up with um, fresh procedures for how to handle these various details. Um, we're currently recruiting for a couple new positions. Um, I've listed that there as well. We've got a full-time opening in our ILL department. That's gotten a lot of attention, and we're currently in the, the process of interviews for that, as well as looking for a, another digital services assistant in the computer room. Uh, I think that's what I've got for my report, but I'm happy to take any questions about anything else that uh, may have piqued your interest. Um, I thought I read something in here, <coughs> or mentioned, <coughs> excuse me, um, the uh, author who came to speak about the Apollo um, Robert Kirsten. Kirsten. Yes, I was trying to remember his name. He was wonderful. Were you there? I was not. He was marvelous. Yeah. There were not a lot of people there, which was kind of a shame, because his presentation was incredible. He got up and he did, he did the whole thing like a story. And he, he was so into it and so engaging. It was really top notch. So that was great. Wonderful. Thank you. Any busy. Other questions or comments? Okay. Okay. We now have some of the committee reports. Trustee Johnson, do you have anything from the Advocacy and Partners Committee? Uh, yeah, Anthony can correct me when I my memory fails, but uh, we met a second time, and we uh, I guess our our big news is sort of our uh, our charm offensive with the uh, the village trustees has been a big success. Uh, a bunch of us went and got to know. Uh, I think we covered all of them now. Um, they will be covered. They have not all. Been not covered. all, right? <laughs> but we decided we're going to meet each trustee one-on-one -on -one, um, and develop relationships and they've all those that have occurred have been great mm -hmm. uh, very warm and they're those that haven't will um, so that's good uh, we decided since we're all getting together November 6th or whatever it is uh, for the league thing that we just wait for that to happen before trying to schedule anything uh, since we're going to get together anyway um, and what else um, Oh, one interesting thing, uh, we talked about sort of internally um, narrowing the scope of uh, areas where we might find some um, partnerships and collaborations with their other units of local government, uh, especially those that basically serve the same people with the same taxpayers. Uh, and so we've made some progress at sort of limiting that. Um, one, you know, if you'll forgive the Digression. One sort of interesting thing, uh, Anthony raised an interesting point that it's on the purchase of electronic materials, digital materials, where there's real opportunities where we may we may be buying a educational service, the high school may be buying it, Oakton may be buying it, and uh, collaborating on the purchase of those, we might discover some savings and some cost measures. That kind of bumped up, interestingly, under the uh, textbook discussion at the community college level. So uh, there's increasing interest in open online textbooks to lower the cost for folks. Uh, so it's been a little interesting to see how that conversation developed. Um, and the final report is, uh, you know, we've had some interest in seeing whether we can do something in solar panels on our roof. 
I'm mean, paying electricity, so uh, on our own it doesn't make a lot of sense, but working with other local governments, turns out the city of Evanston is in fact really interested. Uh, and they uh, made a run at it last year, and they're really enthusiastic about uh, potential collaboration uh, with any other units of local government that might want to do something for 2020, as well as they have a small little park district, uh, I think it's called the Ridgeville Park District, and they're also very enthusiastic. So that one has sort of gotten some early conceptual interest uh, at some sort of interesting places. And then I think we'll intend to reconvene based on availability after November 6th. When do we meet in November as a board? The 19th. So um, either you'll get a doodle poll seeing whether we meet before the 19th or we'll try and meet sometime in December. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sounds good. Okay. Thank Thanks. you. Trustee Rogers. Uh, there is a doodle poll that has been conducted with respect to scheduling a finance committee meeting. Uh, it appears that Monday or Tuesday are the best dates for getting a quorum. Uh, later in the week, we don't appear to have a quorum. Uh, so the, um, uh, the conclusion of that scheduling uh, still awaits. I'll be in uh, Springfield Monday and Tuesday, but if I can, I'd be happy to call in. Okay, that'd be great. All right. It looks like we've got five that can attend on Monday the 28th. Yes. Do we want to do we want to establish that date today or set I a time? would I would be inclined to, uh, the the period of time that works best for the largest number is Monday morning. What time? 30 to noon. Okay. Um I could call in for the first part then. Okay. Yeah. So it's uh, 1028. Okay. Yes. So earlier would be better for you? Yeah. Okay. Does earlier work for you all if we called it at, say, 930 to make sure that the doors are open and we get everybody in here? Hmm? I mean, not for the library? They open at 9, don't they? Yeah, just giving everybody a chance to get settled. But, uh, <laughs> Just be me and Interstate 55 at that time. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Happy to come. <laughs> it's, you know, it's my old friend. So Monday, October 28th at 9.30? Yes. All right, we'll get a notice posted and yep. uh, send out the information. And, and what, will, what will be going on at that meeting? The contract? We have continuing discussions that were left unaddressed in our last meeting. So that will be the starting point. If there's anything additional, Anthony and I need to talk about it before we post the agenda. Okay. 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 ILA. Uh, nothing much except the big conference. Everything's centered towards that. <laughs> uh, public Policy Committee in ILA is um, looking for library advocates to bring forth um, any topics that are um, pressing related to advocacy um, mm -hmm. in policy creation, and we're not in session at the moment, so there's, there's nothing pending, but um, that's the activity of that committee as that goes forward through the year. I'll obviously bring forward any of that information that would affect us share that with you all mm -hmm. and we'll give you a report about um, the conference at the next meeting please. yeah the library will be closing in 15 okay. minutes talk about the ILA any new business thank you mm -hmm. old business <laughs> I think we'll probably have a motion to adjourn I'll second just for a second time. quarter till <laughs>